fucking hit. Uh, let's see how the controls work, and I'll tell you what's going to happen after this. Leveled up, good. So it's still doing the auto run thing. Looks like the controls are uh, responding to all. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to kill some more of uh, these guys. So if you want to watch me uh, doing, doing killing things, um, doing that, um, then go right ahead. Uh, but my recommendation would be to uh, skip on to the next one, next the video, because this is, uh, I think even 10 of them is going to be pretty tedious. And I don't know, I might have to kill more than 10. So we'll see. Basically, just collecting gold for the uh, the uh, bow. Or um, crossbow, I, I don't know what that was. It was uh, some, some weapon that's uh, supposed to be uh, supposed to be uh, gnarly. I was going to use Captain Sparkles, but I thought, you know, that, those are his, his trademark words, <laughs> not mine. I don't know. Um, that was three. So yeah, after this, I'm gonna start a new video. I mean, even if it is just you know, ten. Even if it's short, I mean, I'm still not gonna hold anyone to watching this. Um, because I know how. Oh, neat. You're right behind me. Yeah, I know how this is. How it seems, you know, when you have to... When you put on a quest and you have to kill, like, a... a bazillion little things to get to level 50. I mean, that's no fun. I mean, they could put some variety. What happens to the old games where you... Like, you know, text event adventures, you know, they're... Yeah, believe it or not, like Zork. Um, yeah, I got pretty far in that game, and um, I think with some help, I, you know, I got like one of those Zork uh, books or something. Uh, um, I was able to beat, uh, I think the first one. But um, I mean, when I went back on, you know, look, you know, thought I heard one. Um, but you know, I when I think of it, you know. Now, um, you know, looking back on it, um, it's not that, I mean, it's, there's not that many parts to it, um, and there's not that many, many areas to it, it's, you know, it's a big game when you're thinking, you know, I've never seen such a, uh, you know, where you have, basically have to answer, you know, have to write like a, I don't know. They had, they had some kind of a, kind of a system. I don't know exactly what it was, but uh, it's like a structured uh, language system or something. Yeah, SLS. <laughs> structured language system. SLS. Um, but um, yeah, and this is you know this is the end of East area, by the way. Um, very end. So that was it. It's like three year three areas past the uh, castle and one uh, mid area which is the uh, wizard area but anyway back to his work you know it's um I mean you have to maze yeah, spoiler <laughs> um I mean you have to maze and you know that's pretty long you know throwing stuff down and trying to map all that out which is a uh, Nowadays, you know, if they put a maze like that in, in a game, um, I guess the uh, throwing the stuff down—that's pretty unique. But they gotta figure out how to do it, you know, where you can like put some, keep notes. I think Zork uh, Zero had something like that where you can keep notes. But um, you know, like uh, like there's, there's that area. There's the Cyclops there. Somewhere in there, I forgot what you do with that. I think uh, it's something to do with the light or something. Um, 
or something. Um, you have... God, it's like... A bunch of different areas. Like, there's that whole river thing, that dam. In the river that you had to go through. And I don't know if there's a control panel or something there. I, I might be thinking about a different game that I just watched or something. Because I watched some, like, uh, the Zorka Inquisitor, which I never played, but I watched the uh, a Let's Play on that. Which is, you know, just to say, you know, I it wasn't really interested in playing games. You know, I was more focused on uh, going through college and stuff, but, uh, um, the game, my bachelor's degree, but, um, you know, which I got. I don't know, I don't know why Markiplier today said he was like a college dropout. I thought he, well, he, no, he's a, he's not a college dropout, he's an engineer. He said he's an engineer dropout. But, I mean, that's, he's still, I mean, a degree, you get a degree, you get a degree, I mean, it's pretty cool. A lot, not a lot of people even have the opportunity. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful to have the, had the opportunity to actually achieve it. In, you know, 2009, I uh, got mine, so uh, I can definitely say I wasn't a college dropout. Um, and I think, you know, Bill Gates, when I hear that, I think, I think he just... I think he completed it. I don't know why he says he's a college dropout, but I thought he... It could have been... He just skipped one of the classes or something. I don't know. I mean, most people. I mean, if you have enough money, that's that's what a lot of it's about. It's about money. I mean, you know, kids are realizing that now. That's that's a lot more than just those uh, exams. It's mostly about the money. But um, and you know, if you have the money, then yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a master's. I'll get a doctorate. I mean, I'll at least try for one. I'll, you know, do it part-time. But, um, you know, like, one class, uh, whatever. But, um, even if it takes me ten years, I mean, who cares? But, um, uh, you know, just to say I did. But, um, you know, I think, I think, uh, going back, yeah, going back to Zork, you know, that's education, education, whatever, um, Education just means that you have more responsibilities. <laughs> um, I mean, literally, it's, that's all you're, you're earning is you're earning the right to uh, gain more responsibilities in your work. And you know, some of it's kind of can be kind of crappy too. I mean, think about um, the times when uh, I mean, some of these you know these big wigs. I mean, they they have to go on these airplane trips. I would never want to do like, anything like that. And uh, I think Markiplier figured it out that, uh, you know, I still, I'm not the type of person who would ever drop my job to do something like this. Um, I have thought about working independently, but really, I mean, I think the easiest thing in life is to just, you know, have a 9 to 5 job or a, what I've got, a, you know, a 7 to uh, 4 or something. I don't know what time I get out. Uh, school gets out at 3.30, but I stay until I think, I don't know, it, it, it all depends, it really all depends, but, uh, you know, I mean, that's, uh, it's not that bad as, uh, you deal with, uh, people, and, uh, you have to deal with people, so that's my job line in IT, um, but, you know, going back to, uh, so, you know, whatever Mark Parr said, I, don't know, I, I think, he, you know, he did, I think he went for, uh, I think he changed, he went into medical or something. I don't remember. Um, but going back to Zork, I mean, the area is, uh, so you have Flood Control Dam 3 or whatever it's called, and you go, like, there's a rainbow, there's a rainbow down there that you somehow trigger, and, oh, what am I doing? Um, I need to get back to my map this little trick. Um, so there's Flood Control Dam 3, there's the forest, there's an egg in the gold egg in the forest, which I uh, somehow opened. Um, then I think I had to go walk through the forest. I right, read that book. Like back in the days of uh, walkthroughs, we had, we had to buy books. Um, thank you, I think the controls are messed up again. I hope not. Um, oh, that's what I did. I just 
tapped, so that's that's why it wasn't so it wasn't the game. My bad. Um anyway, so um that guy's in the tree. Wow, these guys are incredibly easy. So I'm playing on the easy. Um so there's flood control damn tree, there's the egg, um you know, I didn't cheat my way through all that game, <laughs> by the way. Not like this, you know, I'm watch literally going through a get guide. Um, I don't know if you want to do a guide for this. Yeah, I guess the reason to get this screen is to level. Level the right things too. And get that uh, crossbow. Um, so there's that. And there's like a inner part. I almost want to say it's like an inner area of the whole place. It's like there's a there's a well that you have to go down. You, oh, you have to put your torch down well, otherwise it goes out. Um, there's like a bunch of machines and stuff down there. I don't know where the machines are. There's like machines somewhere in there that, you know, compress this stuff and, and whatnot. I think, yeah, that's the thing. So you have to get like a diamond and you compress coal through a washing machine to get the diamond. I mean, how does that work? Um, I think uh, they found out it's like a, like the whole, I think there's certain things that can create diamond-like substances. I don't know. I don't really know how, how, I know, I know, uh, um, geographer or chemist. I don't know what, I don't know what those people do. Uh, um, but, you know, how, how you turn the diamond from coal, a lump of coal into diamond from a washing machine. But, um, yeah, and then, uh, what else is there? I mean, it's, it's just, it's just, it's quite a game. I think after, you know, thinking about it, you know, I'm just going to Google and see if, like, somebody drew a map of it or something, just kind of, you know, just so I can kind of recall the different areas, because I've already beaten it. Um, I beat them, I beat just about every part of it myself, and then after that, you know, like, after a couple of years after that, I went to, to the book or something, or I forget how I did it, because I did, actually I did it, like, t three years ago, and this was like 1995 or something when I was playing that game, or something, 1990, maybe 1985, could be 1985, it was like 1990, uh, 1980. Nine or seven or something like that, but um, yeah, 1987. I'd say 1987, right? Yeah, that makes sense. 1987. Um, but um, or eight, 1988, 1988, 1999. I think that's around it. <laughs> I mean, that makes more sense. I think. Uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. So yeah, so I'll just uh, I'm just gonna do that, just so I can. Yeah, you know, and then you know the guide. With the help of the guide, I was able to get the points, and I think I got auto points or something. Um, I don't know how it works. You get all the trophies or something. Some works somehow like that. Um, and then there was Zork two and Zork three. So Zork two, Zork three, I played a little bit. Um. And I don't know if I, I don't remember if I beat it or if I read a guide to, on them or something. Uh, I think I read a guide. I mean, I may be, I think I beat them. I beat all of them. Just to say I did. But I don't, I don't really remember. It was a long time ago. Um, and then there's Zork Zero. And that I know I never, I got really close on it. But I think that was still through that book because that's where I got it from that, the same, I got the disc out of the book. Commodore 64 or something. I have no idea. And then, um, so yeah, I got really far on that one. I think I, that was the help of a, a guide, but I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if I just did on my own. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, the book. Oh yeah, the book had, the book was necessary to, to beat Zork Zero or one of the games. Because it had like a, like, a, a parchment or something that, the, book, the game was going to refer to. Look at that, it looks like a torch. Looks like a lamp right there. Does that look like a lamp? Let me see. 
kind of see that, like where my head is right here. That might be the uh, the torch part. I don't know. I'm making sense out of nothing. Um, well, yeah, out of wood. <laughs> um, so anyway, but uh, yeah, that's uh, Zork Zero I got pretty far, and Zork Zero is really neat. Zork Zero has a, uh, it's very colorful, um, it's Windows, you know, 95 or 3.1 or whatever. Um, Windows 95, I think. That's graphical. So they had a window, many, definitely could not run in DOS. Um, kill him, up him out, and, uh, yeah, I hope somebody's watching this, so I don't feel stupid talking to myself. Yeah, at the very least, it's an archive of, uh, of my thoughts for while playing this game. I mean, better than just watching... Because I think these days, you know, gaming... Yeah, I think Markiplier might do this too. I don't know if he does it the same, for the same reason, but it's... This... I think when you get older, this stuff is like... If you're just playing the stuff... I mean, it's, sure, it's nice, you know, it's beautiful, look at the sun out there, and... It's nothing like I, you know, had back in the days, but, um... It just feels pointless. It feels like I'm getting nothing done. Everything is just written to the single little file on this Android device. And you know, I could just as easily just drag that file to the trash can right now. Um, I think that's the reason why I got that guide too, is because, you know, it's, um, really gaming, unless it's impressive. I mean, I think, what's that one game called? Let me see. I don't know if it shows up here. Um, I mean, that Dungeons Dreadmore was pretty nice, but I was, you know, for that game, I was, you know, chatting on IRC. You know, kind of asking for tips and stuff. You know, making kind of, in making it more interactive, really. But, um, we got 31. Uh, like, uh, Euro Trucks, Truck Simulator, you know, I did that. How did I get started? I, I mean, I just did it for fun for a while. And then I really got into it where when I learned that I could jump around uh, different locations with when I hired somebody. And they would make me uh, just a load of money. Just a load of money and you know I was, I was going to make I think I was going to make something out of it like a video or something showing you know looking at me I've got all this money um how impressive I am I, I got like the best truck on there but you know I decided I never got into it got to it and, yeah I just didn't have the stuff to do it I didn't really want to download anything that's why I'm going with the uh the HP Pop 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 Oz or whatever it's called Because with that, um, you don't need software. You don't have to worry about software. You don't worry about it running that this time, or you don't get that. Or um, I'm supposed to sell those shields too. That'll make me a lot of money. Um, yeah, it's just there. You, know, you just push a button, and then you have it on. You have it on USB. You take the USB out. Transfer to your computer, start to download, and that's it. And I'm not, you know, if I if I get really in, into this, you know, I might. Um, I thought I was kidding this stuff. <laughs> um, I mean, if I get really into this, especially not not to make demands or anything right now, but if I get, you know, even like ten followers, like constant followers, I mean, it could even be followers, new followers every day. But I mean, if there's some a activity going on with this, yeah, I might do more. I don't know why he's not killing this guy? Um, yeah, I might do more. I might, yeah, you know, edit, do actual editing. I might clip some of the stuff out. I might, you know, be like Mark. I'm not gonna say Mark. You know, Mark Plyer 
does bring up topics like this. I just don't enjoy... I mean, if I don't have anything... What's that say? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, I get it. Okay, I have to sell stuff. So, but I mean, if I don't have anything to say, I'm just not going to say... I'm just not going to say stuff. No, I don't want to go there. I 